guys, me, host Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's the Death Watch Mandalorian. I am loving this Mandalorian line, and it's nice to have yet again another Mandalorian in the series. I've got a shelf now just dedicated to Mandalorians, Boba Fett, and Jango Fett because I have so damn many now. <laughs> How do we go from having just Boba Fett to having an entire army of these guys? You can literally, you literally army build just Mandalorians at this point and all the different variations of them. But I'm not going to moan. I'm loving them. I love this series and I love the Mandalorian television series. It is so cool. It's revitalized my excitement in Star Wars. And I'm loving that spine art. Look at that with the orange sort of glow at the bottom. I love that. This guy is number 21 in the Black Series collection here for Mandalorian. And he does have a really cool write-up which states... An extremist clan that attempted to take over Mandalore during the Clone Wars, the Death Watch Mandalorians are tenacious warriors embracing the ancient traditions of their people. This is the way. Have you ever removed your helmet? <laughs> That's really cool. I love this figure so much. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bust this bad guy out of the packaging so we can take a closer look at this awesome Mandalorian. It looks like he's got a blue head underneath the mask though, which is weird. So that mask will heat off and pop off. But it looks like he's just, they've given him like a blue face sculpt underneath. Very random. But it's cool because he, do, he does have a like a rifle gun, which I've not seen with the Mandalorians before. Is that new? They all come with the little pistols, but I've never seen that gun before. So that's pretty cool. So it's nice to have this in the series. So guys, let's go ahead and I'm going to bust this bad guy out of the packaging. Alright guys, here is our Mandalorian out of the packaging, looking absolutely awesome. So this Mandalorian does come with the same sort of things as the other Mandalorians have come with, including a jetpack. And he also comes with his side pistol. But this guy comes with something a little bit different. He comes with this gun. Now I like this. This gun reminds me of something that the Death Troopers would use. A very cool looking weapon, so I'm happy with that. The figure itself actually looks very nice. I love the blue colouring, the Death Watch look is awesome. Um, I really like that uh, the armour and stuff and the sort of design patterns they've gone for. Now, I was really confused because I just assumed this was a repaint of the Loyalist Mandalorian. But when you put the two side by side, they are actually very different. Uh, there are a lot of differences like in the sculpts and stuff. So this is like a newer character and he's a lot thinner, may I just add? Like the other the other Mandalorians are quite bulky and chunky, a bit like the uh, Django Fett figure. Whereas this guy is on a lot more of the skinnier side, which is very cool. So um, yeah, they're very different in sculpts. But yeah, it's a very nice figure overall, like I say, and let's jump in and have a look at the articulation. So the articulation on this Mandalorian, as you can see, the arms lift up at this side hinge, uh, although... The little pauldron pieces do lift up here and do attach above the arm, so they're not going to have any scuffetry issues or anything like that because it's attached to the top part of the armour, which is nice. I do prefer that. And the arms can go fully backwards and forwards as well. There is a single hinged elbow that also rotates. It does the job. And the hands are on ball joints. That has got a little bit looser than normal. Uh, the head's on a ball joint and looks up pretty far and down pretty well as well with plenty of pivot in the head as well. His visor piece does move down as well. It does move down that far and move back that far. Once you've got to that point, you can now waist swivel and crunch him around on that abdomen crunch, which is nice. No further waist swivel in there. He does have a pocket for his sidearm. That does have a little pop, just like um, Han Solo's. So you can lift that up and plop the gun in. The gun itself... <coughs> It's plain black with a bit of a silver speckle on there with a brown handle. With Because he's got that really cool new gun, I'm probably going to display him with that rather than the traditional Mandalorian pistols. So I am going to sidearm those for now and drop those into there. There is a little bit of a hole from where, where, that, hole, where that pop should be, but there is the gun behind it now. Hopefully that should just pop into place as normal. Mm, kind of. It is hindered by the gun being in there now. But uh, we'll we'll play around with that. Hopefully after the, the cam when I finished on the camera and hopefully that oh there we go it's popped back into place now great perfect okay other than that legs lift forward and backwards to the side so plenty of movement there in the leg uh, there is a top thigh cut just behind the uh, um, shin pad or knee uh, thigh pad single hinged knees 
that also rotate, which is pretty nice. And no boot cut, but the feet are on rocker and pivot. There are display bag holes should you wish to use a display base. So there is plenty go oh he's fallen. So there is plenty going on with this figure actually. It's very nice indeed. I do like the way it looks, like I say, very well put together. Um, he does come with the jetpack, just like the other troopers. This one's like the one that we got with Boba Fett. You can move the pieces around here, and you can pop in there some effects pieces to make it look like he's flying. Turning him around, he's got the same three little holes that all the other Mandalorians have, which is the nub and the two hinges to attach the uh, little jetpack. That has been the same connect connection hinge now that all these have had. All the Mandalorians have the same. Uh, connect connect a piece there, so that that's still the same. And the jet the jetpacks haven't changed. Um, although these ones do have static hoses, so these ones don't move. Same with the ones that came with uh, Mandalorian and the Armorer; those were static as well. So this one's got the upgraded version of this, which came with Boba Fett, I believe. Was it the Return of the Jedi one? Was the first one to have it, I think, or was it Jango Fett's Gaming Great Edition? One of them. But he does come with this really cool new sidearm as well. Well, uh, machine gun or pistol blaster, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it does look very cool with that scope on top. So let me go ahead and place that in his hand. Let me try and do that off camera. So I do like the fact that this new gun has two handles on it. So we can actually get him to dual hold that pro like, like properly. And it does have um, it does have the barreled end is actually uh, like you know, plasticed up, so you can't put any blaster effects on the end of that, sadly. But we can relax that arm, and obviously then he's like he's um, got it at ease. So he's guarding, or he's walking, or you know what I mean, he's patrolling with it. And then of course we can fold the arms in a little bit and aim it upwards for him to be firing or whatever. Either way, very cool gun. I really like that machine gun to be honest. It does bend a little bit which is annoying me and you can't actually get the finger to go around the trigger finger or I haven't found a way to do it yet. I've been playing with it for a little while now and I just haven't been able to get it to do. Which is a shame because it is a very good figure and on the, you know, other than that um, I just can't get his trigger finger around that for the love of money. But either way as I say, it's a great new gun. It's, it's one that I've not seen before in the range, as far as I'm aware. I don't think this has ever had a, this gun's ever been around before. But it, it's a great addition to the series. I really like it. But what are your thoughts, guys? Let us know your thoughts on this figure in the comments below. So, guys, what are your thoughts on that awesome action figure? Let us know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy today's review, then please just hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, this is the way. <laughs> and may the force be with you.